Here we are at Snatton as the lights go out for the TW Suspension Tech Thunder Sport 600 Sportsman Elite. It's a 15 lap race and the riders head into Wilson's for the first time. All right, it's all safely around Wilson's and head out through Chapman onto the back of the Bentley Strait. And looks like we've got a leader there of uh, number 43. Arnie Shelton takes the lead and already built up a bit of a gap as he heads down to back straight into Brumbles. And second place there, just moving up ahead of Joe Howard, who's number 81, Chen Chang. He just round on curve for the first time. And it's Shelton from behind. Third place is Stero. And number 88 Lee, followed by Howard, and then Jordan Lee. Riders head out into uh, lap two. So. And we pick them up as they head round Wilson and through Chapman out onto the back straight again. And it's Shelton from behind. It's front two just pulling a bit of a gap as they go down the back straight there. And Stero and Lee in third and fourth. They also just got a bit of a gap over Howard and Lee in fifth and sixth. And Brundle and three Nelsons they go. And come out through the, the bomb hole. And we pick them back up with the Cameron Corrin curve. And it's still still from just from behind. And rounding Corrin curve. And Lee up into third. And just catching the lead in two by the looks of it. Number 99 diving in front of uh, Howard there, there's Steve Butterworth. He looks the field go through. And onto lap three. We pick up the leaders as they round Wilson's again. And it's Hines that's taken the lead. And we're down there, and the top four is a breakaway now, all closing up together. They head down the back straight. Can Shelton get past Hines if we get in straight yet? He does. And the power there as they head into Brundles. Through the left hand they go. New Brundles, and to Nelson, and then back out to the bomb hole, and we'll pick them back up as they come around Colin Kerr. And at the top three close together there, Hines looking to go around the outside of Colin. And they're sitting in third there, just up, and Stero's right with them now as they all, the top four, head down to the start and finish straight. Uh, lap four, we're heading through Chapman out into the Bentley Strait. And it's uh, Hine, Shelton, Lee, and Stero. And there goes Shelton again, past Hine, to the end of the Strait into Bundle, the left end of Bundle. And then Colm they go, and again looking to go around that outside line. It's better of it this time. Meanwhile, it looks like Stero, yeah, Stero goes up inside of Lee as they go through Murray's and out into the start straight to take third place. And there's Howard there, and number 34, Dom Gilbert. Right, as uh, Head down the Bentley straight, and it's still behind Shelton, Stero, Lee. And Lee can burn out as they get on the back straight there. Leaves up and it's behind from Shelton to there and Colin Kerr. And Stero and Lee in fourth place. So they're taking their women further down the field. Lap six, and we pick the leaders up again as they come out of tap runs onto the Bentley Strait. It's still with Pine, Shelton, Stella, and Lee. And it's Burnett, and Lee, and Butterworth as they head down the, the back straight there for fifth, sixth, and seventh. 
That's the favorite throw. Now the Cruz is up to the home curve and Heinz is taking a bit of a lead there on lap 6. A gap there from Shelton. And then Stair and Lee is dropping off the back there of the top four. Seven for the race, and uh, again the top four just making way home. Seems to be a bit of a gap over second now, as they are there. But, and here comes uh, Shelton down the back. Here, yes, he did take Starro and the power that comes off certainly quick down the back straight there. And heading to Bundy, left hand of Bundy's, and the right of Arsons. Up around Colin Kerr. Behind you, just thinking a break at the front there. And here comes Stereo around the outside of Shelton. Can he put it up the inside? Yes, he does. And takes second place. And more battles going on downfield here. Howard leading a little bit through there. Change of position, but. Okay. Uh, lap 8. Uh, still the same order there. We've got Hines, Stero, Shelton and Lee. Again, uh, Shelton get power. Uh, yes, he does again and pass to Stero. Yeah, as well, it's that line coming out of uh, Chapman's that he's got better there with the power and quicker. Again, Hines just making a break at the gap at the front here. Well, here comes Stero again, he'll be going around the outside and up the inside of the left hander of Murray's. Yep, he does, and again takes that position back up into second he goes. So scraps down on the of the back in the field here. Yeah, that nine, yeah, near the end of this race now, over half race distance gone. Behind still got that comfortable lead there. Now can Shelton get past uh, Stereo as we get him back straight again? He does, yep. Yeah. Head into Brundles and he, he keeps that second place there on the brakes. And come round Coral Curve, second, third, and fourth real close together here. And Stero looking for that outside line again and dive up the inside. Yep, and again another successful move there, just blocks there so you can get the power on as they go out. And we have the uh, Ray and Butterworth going through, and Grayson and Horsaki. And then we've got Gilbert and Howard now going through there. And we have that 10, and we Oh, it looks like I just looks on the glass there coming out of Chapman. And we're here from second, third, and fourth. And uh, Stereo's got back to fourth there, so something's happening around the front of the circuit we didn't see. We come around Coral, Hind goes around the back markers. Successfully negotiates them, and he's got a nice gap over second, third, and fourth. On lap 11 or 15, Ryan's still got a good gap over second, third, and fourth here. So we'll go through, that runs onto the Bentley straight. This is Shelton in second, Lee in third, and Starr in fourth. Into the left hand of the Bundles again. And flip it right into Nelson's and head into the bomb hole. And again, we'll put them back up as they come into Coral Care. It looks like Shelton's just getting a little bit of a gap in second there. Need to get enough time to chase down the leader behind here in these last four laps. And while uh, 
But Lee and Butterworth, Butterworth goes up the inside, runs it wide, can you hold on? No, Lee goes back up the inside and takes that position back. He looks at Murray's. And here comes Howard. And Gil got through there. We are at 12. And positions as they were in the previous one. Oh, I'm terrible at 13. And the second day of the fourth, as close as it's been all race here. Down the back straight. Uh, is he going to go around the outside under the brake? Yes, he does. He's up into third place again. He keeps third place as they go around Colin Curve. And he now plays down on Shelton in second. And it looks like they're catching on the lead behind here in lap 13. About to start lap 14. And they come out of Chapman. Yep, the gap's coming down by the looks of it. Down the back straight they go. Into Rumble with his hand and the left hand there. And catching the back markers they go around the right hand of Nelson. And through the bomb hole. And, yep, they're catching on the forum curve. You can go around the outside. Yep, just go yeah, around the outside. Oh, meanwhile, here comes Shelton catching the catching all the time here. Takes the back marker as well. Now he's right behind him as they go through Murray's. They head up to start and finish strong to start the last lap. Into Wilson's they go. It's uh, uh, Chapman. Now Shelton's right behind Hines. Can he get in? And uh, it looks like stereo has got the back marker between him and Lee as they head down the back straight for the last time. And Shelton's catching all the time. The cow, the cow, so can, get, can he get past him on the brakes? Not quite. He's just holding off into the left of the bundle. They put it right into Nelson's. Here they come out onto the Coral Curve. And Hines still in the lead there. Looks like he's got a nice big enough gap here to hold on. And here comes Shelton. He's going to dive up the inside of the left hander. Yes, he does. Yeah, he dives up the inside. Just sets him up as they go up. And out onto the start line for the last time. And, Hines, and Shelton gets it on the line from Hines. And we have. Uh, William Burnett going through there. Yeah. And yeah, there's a win for Arnie Shelton, James Hines second, Michael Serra third, Harry Lee fourth, Tom O'Burnett fifth, John Lee sixth, and seventh was Stephen Butterworth, the first of the sportsmen.